Hello everyone, it's Tilly from Tilly Journals and I'm here to memory plan the month of April in my Erin Condren Vertical Neutral Life Planner using this kit from Planner Face. This is the April monthly kit, shockingly enough because I'm memory planning April. Um, I have lots of washi pulled out, so these ones are all from Simply Gilded and this one is from Colourful & Co. Both at Planner Face and Colourful & Co you can use Tilly 10 to save 10%. Um, I PR for Planner Face, um, but I did love her stickers before I started PRing for her, which means I get a discount for promoting her goodies. Beth, who owns Colourful & Co is just a friend, so that's why I have a code for her shop. So I've got my usual stickers pulled out, then I've got these from Josephine Bow Designs, and then I have various um, layering icons from my own shop as well. Um, these layering things are literally my favourite thing in my shop at the moment, so that's why you're seeing them all of the time. So to start off with, let's um, pop down the base of the kit, so the um, sidebar and the um, top washi. So um, I just review finished reviewing and putting up and editing and stuff my um, Erin Condren haul from the launch and I used this kit to um, check the monthly sizes in both the planners so if it looks a little bit like I've peeled up stickers once or twice it's cause I have um, in short. And as always the way I find best to put down um, the basis of this kit is to actually start off with um, the cover up boxes um, because I figure if you get those in the right place everything else sort of falls into line. And But if you don't get those right um, and you put your other stuff down first these boxes always look dodgy so I find it easiest to put these cover up for the days that are not in the month in first. There aren't many things I have to turn my planner upside down for but I always find that um, putting down these strips of washi is um, the like day strips of a monthly kit is one of the things I do actually need to move my planner for um, now. It took some getting used to to be able to do it like this um, so by all means turn your planner as much as you find easiest. I only don't turn it as much because um, of being filming um, so you do what works best for you. So because we're in lockdown so that's the base all done um, and finished um, because we're in lockdown this entire month um, there aren't any like strips of washi that are needed or anything like that so we're just going to get straight on with the day by day this feels like it's got a lump in still but oh well um and you'll notice that the things i am marking seem kind of mundane and that's because that's all that went on this month um because you know lockdown life um so the first thing we're going to mark is that i was playing lots of monopoly deal at work and it was also april fool's day so i'm gonna use the strip from the oh no because that's also pink now not no oh god throwing things on the floor so i'm going to use the strip that one of the holiday strips from the kit and then stick my own april falls sticker over it and i've left a little bit of space to put the flag in at the top on the third my granny was meant to come out of hospital but she um didn't in the end that day um which was really disappointing so i just want to mark that um, and we also had Thai food which I want to mark as well because you know life has come to <laughs> takeaways <laughs> pretty much as the main event for a day so I'm going to use one of my solid foiled hexagons to mark the Thai. Um, on the 5th I did lots of crafting and um, I made a card for my brother's friend um, for her birthday and so I spent most of the day doing that um, and I think I'm just gonna use a flag with the icon oh and it was also Palm Sunday so actually I possibly want to pull that up a tiny bit so that I can put in Palm Sunday underneath and this time we will use the pink April f oh no because Palm Sunday is really short and um, I think I'm probably gonna have to use this Easter one I think I probably can't use these every single time because um, a lot of the holidays, the way I do them, are shorter than the way Anna does them. So um, it might not work. But anyway, Palm Sunday fits over that one nicely. So that will do it for now. 
Next thing to mark is that um, our Prime Minister went into intensive care on the Monday and I'm going to use one of these birthday appointment labels with an icon over the birthday symbol so I've just got some bows there and then on the 6th, 7th, sorry I just want to mark that I really couldn't focus um, and I've got this today is cancelled go back to bed I think what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to grab a strip of this washi. No, I want a thinner washi. I'm going to use this pink washi here. Just pop a ripped strip of washi in there. And then just layer on top the today is cancelled, go back to bed for the fact I couldn't focus. On the 7th, I want to mark in doing a family Zoom call. Um, and I think that can go on one of the bigger boxes because that's about as exciting as life gets at the moment. I'm going to pop that at the bottom just so that cut washi, ha like the torn washi, has a bit of space to um, breathe. In there. And then on the 9th, my granny did actually come out of hospital that day. Thank goodness. Um, so I'm going to use a flag from the kit to mark that. And I'm going to put that again at the bottom so that I can put like a full box up there um, and I've just got like a happy little dinosaur to mark that. Um, on the 10th, this can't be right, oh no because it was a bank holiday, this is um, Good Friday, so that was Monday Thursday so actually this needs to come up so that we can put Monday Thursday in. I was wrong and Monday Thursday is a longer longer holiday so we can look at the strips and put a longer one on so April Fool's Day is a pretty long one but that's pink um, Ramadan is also passable. we'll use the Passover begin ones so again we'll pop that at the bottom and put Monday Thursday over it it might not actually cover it all up but it covers up enough for that I don't mind and in fact I'm going to change how this is so I'm going to pop that down and I'm going to actually pop the dino on the flag and right in the gap so that's there so then this was a good Friday so um, I'm going to use the Earth Day strip for good Friday and I'm going to come up to the top for this um, so I've got that in there and good Friday it'll just go across the middle but actually I think I might put the date flag down um, so this was the 10th. I need to turn my planner to do the date dots and date numbers, unfortunately. Um, because there's one thing that I really struggle with. And then Good Friday can just go. Because I wanted to like centre that in the space that was left rather than just over the thing, if that made any sense. So that's that. And then the other thing to mark that day is that I was sorting out um stuffed destash the destash page i would normally use is currently closed so i can't actually destash it but um it's ready to be destashed now on the um saturday it was um holy saturday and also uh, my boyfriend filmed a voiceover for my channel um where are my little and the head is the same width as the washi now I was wondering whether I could use one of these rather than these holidays, but I don't think I can. I'm going to try using the Good Friday for Holy Saturday, and I'm just going to pull that down to the bottom and just pop Holy Saturday over it. That'll do. And like, I know you can see a bit of the lettering around it, but I don't mind. Um, and then to mark my boyfriend doing the voiceover, um, I'm going to use a box make sure I like, use lots of things from the kit so that's there and I've just got a little emoji of the uh, two of us from Coffee Monsters Co there on the um on Easter Sunday the 12th um we celebrated my birthday um because even though my birthday was Easter Monday I was still working for it which you know happens when you work for the NHS or work in healthcare um, I really don't mind working my birthday it's not something I'm going to get upset about um, but it's just a fact of life 
Um, and again, I've just popped that off to one side so the flag doesn't look funny there. Um, so I'm going to also mark that we celebrated my birthday as well as um, words uh, ch -ch -ch, that we did a treasure hunt around the house. And that's the same colour as the thing next to it. Let's use the grey box instead. So we're going to pull the grey box down to the bottom to have the balloons there. And then in the gap... I'm going to use one of these medium sized paint swatches with in fact I want this to be over the paint swatch but I don't know whether I can peel it up without ruining it we'll see whether that still sticks and then the game night for um, the treasure hunt around the house there next week so the 12th was actually my birthday um, and it was Easter Monday um, and I was at work. Um, so we've got that for Easter Monday. So my Easter Monday script is actually from a different shop then. So the other holidays are all my own. This Easter Monday is um, from... Ch -ch -ch. Oh, where is it from? Uh, What's her shop called? Her shop is called... Um, Cat... Ginger Cat Co. Um, so... Um, that's just because I didn't have um, my Easter Monday left there. On the 14th I had a massive nap, but we also finished doing the jigsaw we had been trying to do on my birthday. That was really hard. <laughs> so I'm just going to use a got something done for that, which is almost ironic when the other thing I am marking is that I had a massive nap. Um, that irony is not lost on me. I might need to put the flag in on the 14th. Interestingly, it's like exactly the next layer down. Um, just because I kind of want the flag underneath the circle icon and if I stick the circle icon down, I won't be able to put the flag under it. So there we go. Um, so that's the 14th. The 15th, except that should have been on the 15th. Good. Um, so let's try that again and just move it all a day across. So I'll put the 15th flag down instead. The 14th flag can just stay there, but I might have to peel it up later to put something over it. But fixed. Um, on the 16th I finished reading the book I was reading that was really good um, I really really enjoyed the book so I felt like that was something that was worth marking in my monthly spread I don't often mark books um, but this one was like I loved it um, so yeah why not basically because we didn't go anywhere or do anything other than stuff bits and pieces so you gotta mark something don't you um, on the 17th I did lots and lots of design work so I'm going to pull out a strip of washi, proper washi and pop some of that down in the box with torn edges that was more torn than I really meant but it's fine and then just put a little design script there and on the 18th I want to mark that I was feeling down and that I had lots of mama cuddles so I'm going to use a quarter box for the mama cuddles and then for feeling down I'm going to pull out um, a heart why not an outline heart from the layering collection and just pop the feeling down off to the side of it a little bit like that love it and I've got nothing for the 19th so on to this week diesel was ridiculously cheap it was like a pound and seven pound and eight um, which is insane for diesel so um, I just wanted to mark that really um, but I also had a lot of printer problems this day the printer just kept jamming it was a train wreck it was so frustrating um, there aren't actually words for how annoying I found it um, so that's the other thing I'm going to mark on that day. On the 21st, on the yeah, 21st, we started watching The Mandalorian, um, which I don't know whether you guys have seen it, but it's so good. Like, 
I like Star Wars, don't get me wrong, but I'm not huge on Star Wars and I absolutely adored it. Um, so that's good. And then that's it for that. On the 21st, and this is going to have a half box even though it's sort of bad news, but whatever. Um, my grandpa went to hospital because he fell um, and he they did a chest x-ray because he had a bit of um, chest pain and his oxygen saturations had been a tiny bit low and it showed evidence of covid so he got a swab um, and then it was positive so my grandpa was went to hospital and was diagnosed with covid um, he was in hospital for a week and he is out and he is absolutely fine he was never ill with it particularly he um just had slightly low oxygen sats after he'd fallen so he got taken to hospital and they found it um so that was that was that um which i mean can't really help hope for a better outcome than that really after being diagnosed with covid can you um not especially not when you're 95 um on the this day my auntie sent me some harry potter scrubs and they arrived that day um she made me them because she's a good egg um 23rd I want to mark that my consultant was just being really nice to me I think it was mostly about like my grandpa um and he like filled in the forms and stuff I needed him to fill in and to get things done um and he was just being really nice so I'm just gonna mark that in on the Saturday we watched Moana um so I'm gonna use a quarter box size thing from the kit to mark that you can just go somewhere in the middle and that's it for that week so last few days 27th was ec in ah uh, i forgot the 22nd was st george's day i knew i was gonna forget and i literally was like need to not forget need to not forget still forgot i've lost my page of stickers um, i believe hey google when is st george's day St George's Day in the United Kingdom was on Thursday the 23rd of April 2020. Yep. So just checking, I was putting that in the right box. Um, so sorry, I was saying, 27th was EC Insider launch day and I ordered my new planner. That's there. And we also started watching all of the Toy Story um, films, which I'm going to use a flag for, which I can't find right this moment in time. Okay, there's a flag. Except I used a flag of the thing. Oh no, because it's going there, isn't it? So there's a flag there for starting watching all the Toy Story films. Um, I didn't like how that looked, so we'll do that instead. And then the 29th, me and my boyfriend had a date night. And that is the last thing I am marking. Um, so that was dead easy. I feel like I barely used any of the kit, really. Um, I don't particularly love that these two these three in fact all of the boxes of that size are all on Wednesdays which is almost amusing really um Wednesdays and Friday Saturdays are clearly at my busiest days um so that's that done so time to try and fit in four boxes and washi strips and stuff like that so there are six full box um cover-ups in Anna's kits and I always try and spread them out and just I don't even like to keep them to a single up box I just like to fit them in wherever I could fit one um, and it just varies as to how many I can fit in so I always start off with my favorite ones and then put in any others that will go as I can and sometimes I put the washi down first sometimes I put these down first sometimes I do a bit of a mix and today I'm just putting all of these boxes down first and then I'm gonna worry about um fit and washi tape in so now i've got the boxes down i tend to put washi down um, and i'm just going to use sort of because i've put pulled in some so many of the boxes there's not actually like tons and tons of space for washi as there sometimes is um, and i think that is just literally because i've pulled in every single full box i often don't fit all of the full boxes in and um, so i usually have a little bit more space for washi but I mean, when I have not enough space, I tend to just reduce the amount of washies I put down. So rather than like using all five or whatever, I just use like two or three. But we'll see how many um, I manage to fit in. 
and what I like to do is I put down like one or two strips of each washi or three strips of each washi I think I've done this time um, and then worry about um, trying to like even out the different washi tapes and then once I've done that I can always go back and add another strip of each washi if there's space for it. There we go so that is all of that down. Um, I didn't look and see if I had some like Easter foil that I might go and grab as well but for now I'm just going to write everything in and then we'll see if I want to pull some Easter foil or anything in. So whilst I'm writing everything in I just wanted to check in on everybody. How are you all doing? Are you coping okay? We're doing pretty good all things considered. Um, yeah but it gets harder it's really hard not seeing my sister um, and my nephew but we'll get there I just can't wait for it to be safe enough to see them again how about you guys I was correct I'd had these little Easter um, silver foiled goodies from fabulously planned from an order I placed last year and um, so I thought I would just use them over the washi as it's quite plain so that's those used up so yeah I'm just going to finish off the spread by popping down all of the date numbers. So obviously April was the month of Easter um, and I actually got a load of free Easter eggs at work. Um, we as a trust got loads and loads of Easter eggs so they gave, on my ward, they gave us all nine Easter eggs um, which I obviously have brought home and actually we've barely eaten any of them. Um, but I was just wondering whether you guys got Easter eggs or what you got for Easter if you do Easter presents or if you're in America and you do Easter baskets, um, did you do those? Yeah, basically, how are things? Um, what did you What did you get any good chocolate? Um, if you don't celebrate Easter, that's also obviously completely cool. Um, and did you have any celebrations in April? I know Ramadan um, is ongoing at the moment. Um, so if you're fasting, and I'm sorry, I just brought up chocolate, um, that's a bit rubbish. Um, I don't know what other celebrations there are this time of year. Um, I'm not religious particularly myself, but just Easter is such a big thing um, in the UK. I just, I don't like celebrate it, celebrate it, um, but I, it's part of my life because it just, because of living in the UK. There we go, so that is the finished spread. I'll just do a little foil, wiggle, twerk, whatever you want to call it there. I'm not going to add tinies in it this month, I just don't feel like it. So in the kit left we have the Sunday start strips, a couple of flags, one appointment label, all of the functional sidebar stuff, all of the icons, one quarter box, the payday and day off flags and all the build dues, one small appointment label, one of the holiday strips and one day cover up. And that is it. Um, so that is all I have for this spread. I think it is beautiful. I love the colours, particularly for April. Um, April is my birthday month, obviously, as we've just pointed out, as we've put down my birthday in the spread. Um, so I'm really glad that it was an artwork that I really like for my birthday month. But that is all I have for you today. Ignore me trying to fix that washi. And let me know down below whether you are, what, how are you managing memory spreads at the moment? Because not a lot is happening. Um, it's a bit weird and a bit different, isn't it? So yeah, um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.